Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of journalisttoolbox.ai. Um, today's training is going to be on MidJourney and Discord. Uh, we're going to create uh, vector graphics in MidJourney. Um, so before we get to that, I just wanted to mention journalisttoolbox.ai website uh, has all kinds of resources on artificial intelligence tools that will make you a more efficient journalist. Um, uh, among them, uh, a section here called image creation that you can open up. Uh, it has a lot of these tools in here, uh, MidJourney, Dolly uh, as part of OpenAI, uh, Adobe Firefly. And we've got training videos up on uh, a lot of these, uh, a lot of guides and resources in here. Uh, this is a MidJourney basics page that I created, uh, a video that I created a few months ago. Uh, so all these are worth looking into uh, in the near future uh, for experimenting with as far as creating images using AI. One thing I would think about too uh, is the ethics uh, of creating these images and labeling them as photo illustrations uh, when you uh, use them as a magazine cover or you know some type of graphic with a, uh, a story. Um, we have a whole ethics section uh, on the site, law and ethics section right here that explores many of those issues and offers some best practices uh, as far as posting <clears throat> those uh, uh, images online. Um, you can also find a few of those in the image and video uh, creation sections uh, right here. Um, so with that being said, um, let's open up our handout here. Um, hit the pause button here uh, after uh, I show you this, uh, and you can open up the page, which is Midjourney Vector. It's a bit.ly link, bit.ly slash Midjourney Vector. It's got all of our prompts that we're going to use, as well as my contact information, my textbooks that I write, uh, the links to those, uh, and a link to the journalisttoolbox.ai website, where we have these training videos, one of which you're watching right now, uh, as well as a newsletter that comes out twice a month uh, on the latest and greatest tips and tricks. Uh, so go ahead and hit pause uh, and open up this handout. And uh, during the pause, also set up an account at midjourney.com and discord.com. Set up your discord first, go to discord.com and set up your account. Uh, then go to Midjourney uh, and set up your account there. And as you're setting it up, it'll ask for your di uh, discord login information and then post that in there. That'll connect the two accounts together. Discord is where you'll create the images. Here's one I created of a fighter jet. Uh, and then when you can save them out of here, save them to web, they'll kick over and they'll show up in your Midjourney account. Uh, Midjourney does have a beta out right now. It's uh, the 1st of November of 2023. Uh, so I'll show you the beta right at the end. It has a little different look and feel, has some search uh, tools in it uh, that uh, Midjourney version 5 didn't have. Uh, so take a minute, open up the handout, then set up a Discord account, then set up a Midjourney account and, and attach the two together. So go ahead and hit pause. Okay, welcome back, everybody. I was just reconnecting my Midjourney and my Discord account, uh, making sure that they were uh, uh, linked in to one another here. Uh, and uh, I'll go ahead and click down on my account here and uh, make sure I've got uh, my images up here. And there they are. Um, this is kind of the new look and feel to uh, uh, Midjourney. Um, you can see all your images here, and they're kind of grouped by dates now, too, uh, which is kind of cool. What we're going to work with are some of these images you see right here and down here. These are called vector graphics, and I'm going to give you some prompts as well as some others. Uh, you can create website designs, all kinds of really cool uh, stuff in here. Uh, and this is kind of your housing uh, of all of your graphics, uh, and you can open them up, and you can see the, uh, uh, the prompt that you use to write it. Uh, you can download it. You can copy the prompt now, which is really cool. Uh, you can just kind of scroll through these too. You notice the little toolbar down the right-hand side. Uh, and this is their, their new beta version. It's it's now kicking in and, and flooding over into uh, many of the sites. So it's, it just makes it a much better user experience than the old version uh, of it. And uh, you, know, you can click up here uh, and copy it up here, or download the image right up here, or reopen it in Discord if you want to do more editing on it. Discord is where we create our images. Uh, the prompt you have to put in here before uh, you put your uh, text in is forward slash imagine. 
Um, it gives you many others. You know, it's got other prompts in here to describe, uh, you know, uh, many others. Uh, but I'm going to create an image with uh, 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 mid journey. So I'm going to do imagine. And then it gives me a little prompt field here that I can type my prompt in with. Okay. And I've given you some on this handout here. Um, and these are just some basic ones to start with. Um, I've got the little description here and you can cut and paste them out of here. Um, these are just uh, uh, vector graphics. Uh, they're in the style of kind of big tech illustrations. Um, this is one for group trainings and workshops. You may notice I use a lot of these on, on Journalist Toolbox. Uh, this is a vector graphic. This is, this is, so it's this, so it's this. This one is as well, so it's this one. So I use vector graphics for you know about half of the images on my homepage. Um, so they're very good for that. Um, uh, and I added in some different styles in here, style raw. I could add in something like an aspect ratio if I wanted it, uh, AR uh, four colon three, um, you know, for my aspect ratio, that's four wide, three deep. Uh, I can add something like that in. But for now, just copy this very first one. It's going to be a PNG file. I can tell it I want a JPEG, white background. I could do clear background. Um, group training and workshops in the style of big tech illustrations and so on. Um, so I'm going to drop that into my Discord under the prompt. Hit return. And wait for a minute. It's going to say waiting to start. It'll kick through. If your MidJourney account is new and you don't have the MidJourney bot yet, um, it'll give you uh, some different workspaces over here on the rail. Uh, these are just kind of sandboxes to work in. You'll be able to see other people's work in there as well. Um, so it's no big deal. Um, you, you can just, uh, we're just practicing here. Uh, and we'll go ahead and give this a chance to, to start to, to render. As you can see, the images come in very blurry, low resolution. Uh, they'll start to take shape and you can see the, the look and design of them. Now I can uh, offer, you know, it uses kind of blue and purple hues with a lot of these. Um, you can always go in and, uh, you know, ask it to change the color panel with it and just uh, add that in there. Um, notice, too, on this previous image, uh, it has variations you can make to it, um, upscaling it um, times two times four. Uh, you can zoom in and zoom out uh, of the image as well. If I wanted to zoom in closer, you know, I could uh, uh, do that under custom zoom. Um, uh, upscale um, allows you to upscale the image. Um, notice here in my panel of four, it goes one, two, three, and four across. So it goes across one, two, zigzags back to three, and then four. So if I want to upscale one of these images, as I did here with number two, I just hit U2, uh, and it gives me the upscaled image that I can then download to the web. Okay, So it always gives you the panel of four choices. So let's open it up and see what we like here. Um, this one, not so much. Um, I should have probably given it an aspect ratio because a lot of these are square. This one's a little more horizontal. Um, this one, eh, not so much. This one's not bad. I'm, I'm not wild with what's up on the screen. Um, I can ask it to regenerate too if I don't like any of them. Um, I can ask it to regenerate it, which is this little button right here. It'll just uh, you know redo it and kick in a new one. But I kind of like this first one. So I'll upscale number one. And again, you're just working out of Discord. Um, you can run many different types of, of tools and apps on a Discord server. It's good for you know, uh, managing multiple work tools and projects. Uh, so I've upscaled this now. I can send it to the web. And it'll take a second here. And it'll move over into MidJourney now. See, so it's skipped over. The URL appears now MidJourney. It's got my prompt up here. And I can just take it and download it. So the interface is new, it's really not. Nice. So it, uh, my, my beta has kicked in. Um, so I'm actually able to use the beta. Uh, your mid journey may have uh, you know, an option down there at the bottom that says, you know, try the beta uh, and experiment with it. Mine's actually kicked in. So um, it's supposed to become the norm, you know, sometime in, in November. Um, so you'll be able to use it. Now I've just uh, I downloaded my image. It should be in my downloads folder. Um, and then I can take and size it in Photoshop, do any cropping or any other editing that I need to with it. Um, and again, mine's I, I did as a PNG file, uh, but you can you know definitely take it uh, and uh, uh, format it uh, how, however you see fit. Um, and here's your your uh, sketched image. I've got several others on the handout here of other uh, prompts that you can use to write. Um, uh, this one, you know, four ping images, vector illustration pack, 
gnawing style, no border, a um, little, little different style to this one. And then you can enter whatever subject you want here, uh, you know, what type of training you want it to be or banking environment, what business environment you want. So you can, uh, you know, enter uh, whatever uh, uh, detail you want there. Um, I've also got uh, this one uh, here, person uh, uh, working uh, with chat GPT, with chat GPT icon and data in the background. Um, I use that one on my website as well. Uh, we've got a little Twitter post here too that details uh, a little bit more on, on how these vector graphics work. But if you use vector illustration pack, um, uh, will work uh, uh, big tech uh, style, big tech illustrations. Um, any of those will work well in the prompts. Uh, uh, and there's all kinds of different prompts you can write. These are just vector graphics. I've got more listed down here um, for uh, user experience, uh, you know, designing uh, websites. Uh, these are some I did for a donut shop, for a, uh, uh, a look at a uh, uh, restaurant, um, fitness website, um, and others. Um, so I've given you the prompts up here, you know, uh, sustainable living website page, you know, things like that. Um, all the uh, images in there are rights free. Um, I've given you some other prompts down here to create like a press image of an automobile and a warehouse. Aspect ratio is four uh, wide, five deep, so a little, little more vertical. I uh, can create wireframes of things, Formula One race car. Um, all kinds of different things in here. So I've given you a lot of different things you can do. Uh, some fun ones a little lower on the page, you know, uh, uh, create a blueprint of all these different uh, uh, famous uh, buildings and you know ancient uh, pyramids and things like that. We've got Machu Picchu, Stonehenge, and some other things in there. Those are a lot of fun. So, um, you know, just experiment with this tool. Um, it's Like I say, it's useful for magazine covers. Um, it can be useful for you know icons and images on a page. That's how I use them on a on a web page. Um, uh, but always identify your artwork as uh, either in the alt tag uh, or in a cut line of some kind as being a photo illustration. Uh, a lot of uh, news outlets too are saying you know uh, they, this was created in Mid Journey uh, using AI tool Mid Journey um, as well. So that's a, a pretty good uh, a thing to uh, to consider. Uh, when you're building uh, building these tools with these tools is make sure the reader knows. Um, and here's the ones I created today. They're up here, including the upscaled version of this, uh, as well as my other strips of uh, other ones. That's new too. It didn't it used to move over uh, all your images, just the ones you upscaled. So now it gives you all of them, which is pretty cool. Um, you can go back. I've done a lot of stuff with cars and vector graphics, airplanes. Um, this is really good for food journalists, uh, is being able to create uh, images of, of food um, because it's very expensive to shoot these in studio. Again, you need to uh, label it as a photo illustration. Um, I've done some cartoon stuff as well and just, uh, you know, some interesting things in Mandalorian. That was uh, the first one I ever created was this one on the left. Um, I've, uh, you know, done some virtual reality stuff, you know. Uh, Will Smith, what does it look like when uh, uh, Chris Rock uh, is standing up on stage and Will Smith's coming at him? Um, it's kind of a weird one. Um, uh, this is one of my early ones, too, Trump fleeing police. Um, when you go to fact check these images, too, if you see somebody sharing these out on the web, um, one of the areas that uh, MidJourney and other uh, AI image tools mess up are the ears, the eyes, oftentimes they're too far apart, uh, or there's missing teeth in the mouth, or in this case, Trump has five fingers and a thumb. <laughs> uh, so he has six fingers on his hand, a thumb and five fingers. Uh, so, uh, you know, those are some areas to look for if somebody sends you an image and you're not sure uh, whether it's been created with uh, 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 with uh, AI or not. Um, so have some fun with this tool. Uh, but again, be very careful with it as far as ethics and identifying that it is a uh, uh, an AI tool that it was created with, and it's a photo illustration. So here's your handout, bit.ly slash midjourneyvector. Um, my contact information's at the top. If you need any help, do stay in touch. Journalstoolbox.ai. Uh, this is one of 95 training videos that are up there. Uh, we also have a great newsletter that you can sign up for. Uh, it's free, although I do appreciate the donations, uh, those of you that are donating to it. Uh, this comes out every other Tuesday morning around 8 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, offers all kinds of tips and tricks and exercises on AI tools. So that's all I had for now. Uh, we'll see you on the next training video. Thanks for stopping by.